Hiya guys, Nigel here again on, on Saturday the August the 8th and I've got another little review for you. I've just been clearing up my bench, uh, making room for the B52 build, the beginner's build. And um, basically I came across this envelope which was sent to me, as you can see here, on the 25th of February. And it's come obviously from a niece, it's got this beautiful um, start sign he always puts on his boxes or, or envelopes or whatever. Please do not bend and valuable model parts enclosed and all that. So yeah, really, really nice. So opened it up, had a look, and we've got in here something to show you, which is really, really nice. So obviously in February, this was a this was a new line. Um, if you haven't seen any products, go to his website and have a look. This is his email, um, her website address there, anise.de or anise.io. Um, basically, um, he, he does a whole range of really interesting parts that nobody else really does. He does a whole load of resin, 3D printed um, knobs and dials for all different ages of aircraft in all different scales. He does all these decals, beautiful decals for instrument panels and stuff. I've done all the um, reviews of all his products and he's actually got links to my reviews on his website. So um, and basically does all these braided lines as well and then he does these tiny cotton buds, all of which I've already reviewed and I regularly use. So basically go take a look, some really, really good stuff. Now he's branched into making brushes and these are, um, they are Martizan Kalinsky paint brushes. Now that means nothing to me, but if you're into your artwork, I'm sure that's going to be a, a great name to have uh, linked to your products. So. Obviously, you can see they've been made in conjunction with Calibri, made in Germany. And what we've got here is a set of three paintbrushes. And we've got a 5.0, a 10.0 and a 20.0. So really, really nice brushes. Really, really great for um, for fine detailed work. And the thing that I really like about them is the, the way this is, the, the stem is, is shaped. It's so much better than your, you know, your normal sort of round brush like this that rolls around in your hand. This kind of, it's a far, it doesn't roll around, it's far better control, it just feels really, really comfortable. And obviously they've got these plastic um, protectors on them. I also notice on here you've got a seamless ferrule, which is nice. Um, and the, the ferrule is also very small on the end. I've noticed on some of my tiny brushes, the ferrule on the end is massive. And it's, it's almost like, you know, it gets in the way when you're trying to get into fine areas. But these will be fantastic for figure painting and detail work. Um, I'm going to be using these on the forthcoming B-52 build because something I never ever do and will probably never do again is we're going to put pilots in it uh, because the Revel kit has no seats and I'm going to do it out of the box so we're not going to start making seats or adding different cockpits and stuff we're going to do the pilots so these would be great for painting their their hands and faces and and helmets and stuff so really really nice brushes um, synthetic apparently uh, I'm not going to lick them like a lot of people do, but um, yeah, come watch my B-52 video and you'll see them in use. Uh, and in the meantime, get over to the Anise website, have a look on there, see what's about. Um, Price-wise, these are, these are reduced at the moment. They're €17.49 uh, for the set of three, which isn't at all bad because you can pay... You know, you can pay that much for one really high quality brush. And obviously, the way to judge a high quality brush is how well it lasts. Um, under normal usage and with different types of paints. Um, some of my brushes die. What I find is a lot of the bristles start to kind of take a turn in the end they become hooked. Um, this one is a creative model synthetic brush and as you can see I know this has got a massive ferrule when you compare it to this one. The end of the ferrule on there is, is huge. Okay, you can see what I mean, it's, it's massive. And this one is a 4.0 this one's a tenno, so if you compare it to the 5.0, it's more of a more of a similar size to compare it to. But you can see on there the, the ferrule on the Creative Models brush is massive in comparison to these little spindly things, which are lovely. But um, what I wanted to show you was this one here is a Sophia Royal and Langion, whatever, um, and you can almost see on this one how it's become hooked on the end. They um, they don't seem to last. I think it's some of the solvents I use probably. But we'll see how these fare. I'm sure they'll be very, very good. And I'm sure that um, Tom wouldn't be putting them out there for sale if they weren't up to the job. But um, we shall see. I'll, I'll, I'll probably test them to the full. 
So thanks for watching. Get on over to the Anise website. Get yourself an order on. He says at the moment he has a problem with shipping to the USA and everything. Uh, Australia and Canada because of the COVID. Um, so he's going to be... Um, He's going to be charging more for shipping at the moment, so keep your eyes peeled. Once everything calms down, then everything will go back to normal. So um, thanks for watching. See you all soon, guys. Bye for now.